Howdy, YouTube neighbors. Today, we're going to be discussing the Sketches of Salvation archetype. Built around a single artifact, Sketches of Salvation. Sketches puts four random units from your deck onto the middle floor, ignoring space requirements. If you see Sketches early in the run, you can craft your run around it. And that's what we're going to be doing today. Playing Sketches is always a bit tricky, and... There are three things you need to consider before picking it up. First, not counting your commander, you're going to want exactly four units, requiring early and frequent purges of unwanted units to ensure your optimal unit count of four. And we'll talk about the kinds of units you want a little bit later. Secondly, haste exists in this game, and you need a reliable and consistent means of countering it, otherwise entire floors will bypass middle floor entirely and go straight to top. Ideally, this will either be a piercing spell that kills the haste conduit, or one that ascends it to the middle floor so you can stomp him in the face. Holdover is ideal in either case. And then finally, if your champion is going to be part of your strategy, then you're going to need some means of moving that champion onto the middle floor, um, with any, any one of a number of available movement spells, uh, preferably intrinsic. So, additionally, if your clan combination offers options to pull a unit to the front, or if you can get lucky in the Build-A-Card Cavern event, that would be ideal to ensure that your tankiest unit is always on the front line. So, what type of units should you be looking to place on the middle floor? Well, you've got a few good options. The typical beginner strategy is to find and copy units with large attack and health numbers that are difficult to play, like Shadow Siege. Quick and Multi-Strike are obviously beneficial adds here. Another consideration is units like Keeper of Echoes, Paraffin Enforcer, Steelworker, and Branded Warrior, all, all of whom have effects which benefit all friendly units on that floor. A floor with four Keepers of Echoes in particular is extremely powerful. A single infused spell creates four Inspire Triggers, affecting all four units, giving each Keeper plus four plus four for a grand total of 16 points of scaling from a single spell, regardless of what the spell actually does. Now that scales very, very quickly. On a similar note are going to be those with Uniform Mechanics. A form of four Inspire units, or Encant, or Harvest units will scale quickly due to sharing the same condition for their triggered abilities. Of particular note are Encant and Inspire, which have great synergy because they can both occur from the same card. A single purple spell will trigger both. It doesn't have to be a Stygian Wormkin combination either. Any faction that wants to cast multiple spells per turn pairs well with either Encant or Inspire. Awoken in particular has multiple units with Rejuvenation who are going to want to cast multiple healing spells in a turn. And likewise, Umbra has the spell-heavy Ember Drain package strategy we discussed in a previous Archetypes episode. As long as the four units on the floor have good synergy and allow for multiple triggers from the same spell, it's going to be a strong Sketches floor. Okay, that's enough for our Sketches 101 lecture. Let's go to the run. Okay. Shelter, okay, Fledgling Imp, Return Soul, quickly becoming one of my favorite cards in Wormkin. I really like this start. We got uh, Seraph the Chase, we got... Who are you? You are... Encant and Hellborn Harvest Arcus. Hmm, okay. And then we got Scattershot Daedalus. Okay, fairly, uh, fairly unintimidating run so far. And we have, we have scaling, we have survivability, we have everything we need except for a, uh, good opening artifact. Ah, <sighs> so rationing scales is good for 10 pyre health right now. That's not much. Sketches of Salvation. Let's talk about Sketches of Salvation. Um, we have a hurdle to overcome because we have two imps, and we may be counting on those. Well, we would have been counting on those for scaling, but 
Uh, if we go sketch as planned, that's not happening. So that's two more units that we have to pull out. We are lacking a spell that ascends or descends, but we're in Hellhorned. So they're available at both common and uncommon. There's a good chance we see one. And likewise, there's a good chance we see... Um, I forget the name of the spell. Uh, I'm scared to try and go look in the uh, logbook right now. Uh, it, it, it's the one that uh, pulls a unit to the front and gives it 10 armor, which is really good for sketches. So, this is highly speculative here, and we have some extra hurdles to overcome, but we are in an excellent clan combination for sketches. And having seen it this early, I, I think we can build a run around it. What are our unit banners? Okay, we're probably going to swing by the Wormkin banner and the Merchant of Magic on two, and then the Hellhorn banner and the uh, Merchant of Steel on three. Hmm. Uh, if we get a good unit, we're going to want to Helvin it early. Oh, and we got Helvins on four and five. So we've got, op we've got opportunities. The one on four is obviously better than the one on five. So yeah, no, we have... Where are our temples? Three, four, five, and eight. So, yes, the map is good for sketches. Our clan combination is good for sketches. And we don't have imps or, we don't have uh, uh, starter imps or dregs to get rid of. So, we this is a this is a good opportunity to take advantage of sketches of salvation. So, we do it. We're now a sketches run. Okay, champion says. All right, so now that we know that we're a sketches run, the care really doesn't work for us because we're not going to have the meat wall to protect him. Infector is okay if we a can get him on the floor and b end up with a Keeper of Echoes, because that, that'll give us more Inspire triggers. So, we're going to take Infector here. Worst case scenario, if we can get him on the floor, he's a multi-striking unit uh, when you fully upgrade him, so it, it's hard to go wrong there. Divine Horde is going to be risky here. <clears throat> okay, hold on. Give me one second. I got a sneezing fit to do. I am sorry about that. I, I hate Cedar almost as much as I hate Tethys. Uh, okay, so where were we? So, the Horde here is risky. There's, there's a lot of really good artifacts that would help us in an early sketches run, but if we miss those artifacts, then we're going to have a really hard time in the early game because... We're, we're going to very quickly find a line of not upgraded train stewards uh, to be uh, to fold like paper, but getting four of our units out in the initial draw gives us access to more fractures and torches. So we have to play cautiously and if this is an armor trial, that's not good news for us. But I think it's correct to take the horde here. Okay, uh, I like guild marker here. Guild marker is going to be good because a sketches run is going to want a lot of removals, and making removals twenty five percent cheaper, ace. So this we are we are rewarded for our aggression, and now let's see if we're punished for our hubris. Mark of Invasion for 75 gold. We have boons on the next floor. Mark of Invasion guarantees our middle line is wrecked. All but guarantees it. Oh, chains. Hmm.
we just got 15 shards and pretty much guaranteed that a foot soldier is going to be upgraded or worse a protector I don't think we take this trial for 75 gold with sketches I think it's a little bit too much okay this is interesting I think the play is to use Spine Chief to soften up the bottom floor. So, we're going to play Spine Chief. We're going to put down a meat wall and some summons. We are going to fracture. And I really do not see playing either of these other cards as worth it. So let's just clear out the bottom floor and be happy with what we've got. All right, we got the collector there. Yep, there's our upgraded foot soldier. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take nine damage off the board. We cannot kill off the nine by two immediately, but we can fracture, and a fracture is going to do more for us than a torch. So uh, our... Our champion is down to half health, but we are looking pretty good, all things considered. We're going to take a break here. I'm going to put down Meat Wall. And I think we're just going to armor up. Okay, pretty good floor here. We are going to Torch. Uh, let's see, I want to cast the Shelter, so we're going to Fracture. Oh, we already have the win. We're going to return the Fracture and play the Fracture again. Get uh, seven Echoes up on the floor. Now we're going to Armor up, and we are not going to Sweat Ring 1. Yeah, I, I feel confident that that Trial would have wrecked us. That is a Purple Shelter, but that is a Bounding Echoes. Obviously, Bogfly is not the choice here. One, because it's terrible. Two, because uh, it's going to clog up our sketches pull. So, I we're going to need to protect our sketches floor. We already have two shelters, but I wouldn't mind a third, especially a purple one. So, we'll take it. And, generally speaking, we want to go with the purple option here. Horn Break... Definitely not bad. Um, because we're a sketches run, we're going to want a piercing ping that takes care of haste conduits for us. So Hornbreak fits that bill very nicely. So we'll take that. All right, swing and right. Let's peep in the magic shop. Double stack. Not really much help. Then again, we're not really here for the magic shop. We're here for the Wormkin banner. And right. Hmm. So. Bog Chrysalis is actually not a bad pick here. It could be a good infusion. It'll put two more units on the floor. And in the meantime, it's, it, it's more units for, for us to play with. Uh, either on or off the floor, depending on what Sketches does for us. So I'm actually going to take Bog Chrysalis here. I, I think that's a good pick. Alright, minus ones. I am going to put a minus one in this purple shelter in anticipation of a remove consume. I'm going to take a plus ten magic power and put it into horn break. That, that lets it overcome a very important threshold. And I'm actually going to spin it here because I want to see remove consume. I do. So we're going to take the boons here. We're going to get our remove consume into our purple shelter. And that is great. Minus one. Do we want... Now, there is a very good chance, actually, before I start spending money on spells that I don't need to, there's a very good chance that there's no money here. 
We probably don't miss the collector, but this could be a unit draft, and we want it to be a unit draft. So we're not going to have much money to spend at the steel shop. So I think we stop our spending here. As much as I would like to purge a card, I don't think it's happening. So let's go to battle. It is a unit draft. Oh, man. Spike conduit. Plus four. At least it's not additional spikes. That would be rough. Um, I'm not happy about this. I anticipate some pyre damage, but we can get through it. All right, we did not get our egg mid-floor. Oh, but we got it on Spine Chief. So now here's the question. Do we play bottom floor? We have the hand for bottom floor. And that'll allow us to save our sketches floor for later damage. Hmm. This is this is intriguing. This is very intriguing. Okay, I think we do. I think we put Spine Chief forward. Put our egg down. I want to horn break our spike conduit. We'll take a lot of damage, but we can fracture him so we don't take it mid, and then our mid floor should have no problem pasting this guy. So yeah, I think I think we were right to play bottom. It's risky. It's not something I generally like doing, but okay, we've already ensured the conduit's dead. We're good there. I want to torch here. I'm going to torch here. And I'm going to bring back... I'm going to bring back this Fracture. So that I can get more purple on the floor. And that is going to allow me to armor up. And then we're going to hatch this egg after... Uh, Infector here makes his strike. Alright, he's going to go up to the mid-floor to get cleaned up. Hmm. One, two, let's get some Echoes mid. I think another six armor per is a good play here. Okay, uh, you need to die. I'm going to Fracture you once. and Do I want to increase my damage here, or do I want to increase my armor? This is sweet, boss. So, another 10 armor lets my flies hit. That's 21. Dang, it, I'm just barely going to miss the threshold. But I still think it's right to armor up here. I'll get more damage in. Oh, hey. We, uh, Fortune Smiles. We, uh, we did our math right. Okay. Ah, Purple Bounding Echoes or an Echo Transfer. Echo Transfer is hard to pass up, but I, I'm, I'm going to be counting on building a good Sketches floor. So our need for spell-based scaling is not quite as big. So I, I feel safe taking the Purple Bounding Echoes. I think that's going to be important. Um, definitely not taking an Imp. Do I take Fortify? It's not purple, but it's free. It helps our survivability somewhat. Maybe I get lucky and hit it with Bounding Echoes. We'll probably remove it later, but for the early game, I think Fortify does help us out. Okay, we got a Purple Keeper of Echoes. I'm happy to see you. Sold. <laughs> okay, Ring 3. Options. Go dig for an artifact, get some Pyre health. Or we see another unit and, and peep in the Merchant of Steel. Hmm. I definitely want to look at the Merchant of Steel. What do we got? We got Multi-Strike. Okay. I'm glad we looked. 
just out of curiosity, the temple? Dirty magic power is nice, but I don't think it's it here. So let's leave. <laughs> a demon fiend, eh? Well, we are on a sketches run. I think Demon Fiend's a good pickup for our sketches run. We're going to need to be very aggressive about our purges. But, yeah, I, I definitely like Demon Fiend. We're going to pick him up. The question is, who do we put our multi-strike into? Do we put it in the Keeper or do we put it in the Demon Fiend? I think we put it in the Demon Fiend. Because we need him in the early game. Now, here's the problem. If we don't get Demon Fiend <laughs> in our in our opening sketches, he's going to be a wasted unit because we can't play him. So, before we make this decision, let's get all the information we can get. Let's go to the caverns, see what's in here. Oh, now this is fortuitous. I will definitely trade 25 Pyre Health for 150 gold. Now that looks scary, definitely. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the steel shop and we're going to buy a bunch of removals. So I definitely want to take advantage of the multi-strike while I have it. That goes into Demon Fiend right now. And I want to get rid of... Train stewards, definitely. <laughs> and we can purge one more and then take a heart stone. So, I'm going to remove that last train steward. And I'd like to put a heart stone, I think, into Keeper of Echoes. I think that's good. Now, I want to make an infusion here. We have six units. I would like to get that down to five. So what do we do here? I don't think it's time yet to sacrifice the Bog Chrysalis. It's a, it's a strictly better unit than the others. I think Hmm. What do I think? I think maybe Hmm. I can't put anything into Bog Chrysalis because I'm more than likely going to want to make that into an infusion at some point. And I want to save Slosser Ball Demon Fiend in that. So it's either Imp into Imp, Steward into Imp, or Imp into Steward. And I think the call is Imp into Imp. Okay, so we have five units now for sketches. And... One of them's getting left out. I hope it's not Demon Fiend, but there's a there's a 20% chance it is. If it is, then we're just going to have to maximize our champion as best as we can, just like we've been doing so far. We're getting a little aggressive. We have 50 shards. We have 15 pyre health. But we have a pretty strong early game deck, so I'm not phased yet. Okay, so, good news, bad news. We got Demon Fiend, but we got him in front. And that's kind of a problem because I'm already looking at, a, I'm already looking at an explosive. Uh, this is nasty. Nasty, 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 nasty. Okay. I think... 
We're going to play up top. And I can't do anything about that exploding. So what I'm going to do... Oh, spikes, eh? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start building echoes on the floor to hatch the egg. And to get Reap into the boss. Oh, that's nasty. And he's going to drop another bomb before he leaves too, isn't he? Hopefully we'll draw what we need to draw before that happens. Yep. And we, uh, we did not. We don't have it. So we're just going to have to fortify up here. Do not like it at all. We can at least... Oh yeah, we can at least save three damage here. And... I think we build up some more Echoes mid. I think that's the right thing to do. We have an egg to hatch. Okay, where are my shelters at? Here we go. Timing could not be better on that. I think double shelter is good. That's going to be 10 plus 12, so 22 armor. Oh no, it's it's okay. So eight plus ten, so eighteen armor. I still think that's I still think that's correct. Okay. Hate the demon fiend got up front. Okay. So here we're checking for haste conduits. <laughs> Fracture the boss. Torch the boss. And armor up for 14 apiece. Mm -hmm. Alright. Good times. We don't have to take this explosion. And we are going to save three damage here. And since these echoes are about to go away, I'm just going to put a fracture into the boss. Okay, this is a great, great hand for us. One, let me do my math. One, two, three. Okay. So, we're going to torch you. Move you into non-existence. I really don't care which spell I play here, so I'll play torch. I'm going to recover a torch, I guess. Play it for free. Ah, uh, I should have. I should have done it with a shelter. Oh well, that was that was a misplay. But I think we still have it on mid floor. We're probably gonna lose Demon Fiend, but I think we still have it. Oh, we're not even gonna lose Demon Fiend. <laughs> Crazy times. Crazy times. Looks like the Reap's been doing some work for us. Okay. So this is insane. <laughs> as much armor as we're throwing around, that is insane. Hmm. I don't think it's Dark Deal. Echoes of the Past is good, but we have to be careful about how we play it. We have, we're going to have flies on the floor in some way or another, so we don't really want to be clearing our echoes a whole bunch. I think I actually like Reinforce here because we don't have a pull spell yet. And we may not get one. So this this is added insurance and it takes permafrost well. 
So we're going to take that. <laughs> that is an Apex Imp. Oh boy, that is an Apex Imp. As much armor as we are throwing around, yes, he definitely makes it onto the floor. So I'm going to be real with you. I have not been feeling pressed for draw. I have been feeling pressed for Ember. And it's never, ever, ever space on a Sketches run. So I'm going to take Ember here. It goes against some of my most basic philosophy, but... Alright. It's two mines here. We go right. We see what the Wormkin banner has for us. We vent a guy. I could I could definitely go for hell venting my my apex imp, and we're broke, so the money is also going to be worth it. Strong option. Other option, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six units. We're going to make an infusion here, so we're going to go down to. Five, but we could go removals here and we can ensure that we make our way down to four units. Now, what this means is that not everybody is going to get an infusion, and that's okay. That is perfectly okay. Power, consistency. I'm going to go left here. It may not be correct. Especially since we can't really make use of the magic shop and the pyre health is not great for us. But right now, vor the, the vortex is extremely beneficial for us. We can stabilize our sketches on floor four. And that ain't bad. Spell chain, minus one. I don't think I'm going to take either of those because I'm about to take on 25 here. So. My first thought... is Chrysalis into Apex Imp. That way, if Apex Imp shows up on the front line, I'll have two meat wall in front of it. That seems really good. Second thought is, what on earth am I doing with this train steward? <laughs> I guess he continues to ride with us for now. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to make that infusion right now. Log Chrysalis into Apex Imp. Bog Imp. <laughs> or Apex Chrysalis. I like Bog Imp better. It rolls off the tongue. Champion time. I would love the Corruptor. I would absolutely love it. But we don't have... Um, ascend spells yet. We missed it in the uncommons, and so now we're essentially going to be looking for a build a card, or we're going to be looking for um, ascend in days two. In this context, Infector is going to be all alone, or Chief's going to be all alone. So I think I would rather have the higher HP and the multi strike than the buff. So, we're going to stick with Infector here. Alright, before we make our purges, let's hit the Magic Shop and see what we can afford. Oh, man. What would I have held over? What would I have held over? Return Soul. I would have held over Return Soul. Yep. 
Okay, well, is what it is. I kind of want to put a minus one into reinforce to make it more playable. And 20 and consuming torches sounds good, but let's see what's up next. I am. Ooh, I'm gonna go to a. I'm probably gonna go to a hell vent next. I want. An, I want another imp. On that note, I need to remove my train steward now and go to a three-man floor. So that's what we're doing now. We're gonna remove the fledgling imps. What's now, I could potentially infuse the train steward into something, but that's not worth 25 shards to me. So yeah, we're going to go to a three-man floor for now. I'm going to remove the train steward now, make room for a vented imp. Yeah, all right, 75 shards, ring four. Let's get it. Spikes four. Or a random artifact. It's definitely within our capability. I'm not sure what artifact I'll be looking for here, but we we got options. All right, bounding echo is opening hand. Love to see that. Play chief on top. Oh man, that's about as bad as that could have gone right there. Mm. And you got sharded up. That's not great news for me either. But we're going to go ahead and shelter up now. And buff up our Rage Imp. Or our Apex Imp. Neat. Okay. We're taking a lot of damage on our keeper here. But I want I want to prevent you from coming up for sure. Get a fracture down. Return something. I think I would like to return this fortify. And now we're going to shelter. All right, looks great. Looks great. And this is going to be a fairly simple turn. One, two, three, shelter. Finally got ourselves a horn break. So I can just murk you outright. But I don't think I need to. I think... Instead, it's better spent dealing with this 15 by 2 down here. And torching you out. And getting another Echo up here. Or, specifically another Inspire trigger. Alright. One, two, three, four. Inspire, Inspire, Inspire. We put the Reinforce... Dag. Okay. Put the reinforce on our backline imp. Jack up his rage real high. I want to torch you out and fracture you so I'm not dealing with you. Return soul. Nah. Just. Get some fracture on you. Not that Party Boy stands a chance against this line here. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four. And Apex sent back here is hitting for 214. Oh, if we get more armor, yay, I'll take it. <laughs> Purple, Broken Memories. Unearthed Remains, there's a lot to be said for that too, but Broken Memories, that's <laughs> that's more armor. Uh, no, I don't want to kill my Apex Imp. 
and you know screw you for this pack game <laughs> I'll just take I'll take the dime here all right that could be build a card oh that hurts but I want that hell vent that hell vent is immediate value at the moment more imps more flies chain no I I don't want to roll up on ring I don't want to roll up on Arcus with a hundred shards much less ring five I think we're good I think we have enough armor to outlast crystal cloak I'm not worried about crystal cloak no it what would I spell chain if any Oh, could I go infinite? Could I go infinite with armor? It's possible. It's possible. Jeez. Okay. I, yeah. Yeah. Or do I want to hunt down and remove consume? Let's look at my shops. What am I doing? I'm gonna hit up steel next. I need to I need to I need to fill out my slots. Then in seven. Probably hitting steel again because I, I anticipate being broke. Oh man, there's two hordes in the way too. We are likely to, to go to <laughs> the Shardtopolis here. And then... What a terrible magic shop, Ring 8. I'm going to the Removal Duke Steel Shop. So, I'm unlikely to see another magic shop this entire run. So yeah, Remove Consume's not in the cards. So yeah, we're going to spell chain the Broken Memories now. 105 shards, Ring 5. Get some. And it's uh, it's sweet boss. Yeah, I, I don't think that me and my uh, heavy armor care. I'm gonna take the trial. Not ideal, especially since I'm more than likely gonna have at least one upgraded silent marksman who's gonna walk past my mid floor. But I will have my champion on top, so he can clean those up. So yeah, yeah, I think we're good here. <laughs> Floor has reached the seven unit limit. So I only got three flies, I didn't get four, but that's fine. Why? Why does my Keeper of Echoes keep showing up front? Ugh. All right. This is uh, not a great start. But we'll make do. I'm gonna go ahead and oh jeez. I'm gonna torch you out. Pray for a horn break. And we'll armor up. I got my horn break. I, I was fortunate there. So I can prevent this 31 damage, I can prevent him from walking up on me. Ooh, you're a big beefy boy, aren't you? All right. Um, I want inspire triggers. Let's get them. I want inspire triggers while he's still alive. Cause that's not a guarantee. Ooh, nice. Okay, we can prevent 16 damage here. Return Soul says, I don't want to consume my Horn Break yet. I don't want to consume my Shelter yet. So it'll be Fortify. We'll do Fortify. Get just a little bit more armor and another Inspire Trigger up here. And now 18 points of armor across the board. I 
I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Nothing I can do about that, and I think that's going to kill off my Keeper of Echoes. So what I'm going to do is... Invest in my rear Apex Imp here. I'm going to immediately return that to the top of my deck. I'm going to Broken Memories again. Bring back Broken Memories. And I'm going to Shelter Up. Yeah, this... We got double upgraded Marksman on here this line. That is not good news for Team Us. Hooey. Reaper <laughs> Reaper Chief almost goes down, but he, he cleans it up. This is the turn where we lose Keeper, but that's fine. I think I think he's done his job for us. So what we're going to do... Fracture. Reinforce. And then we're going to do the same trick again. Except this time, I don't think I want Reinforce again. This time, I think I want Shelter. And then we're going to Broken Memories. Get back Broken Memories. Alright. We clean everything up. We lose our Keeper, but... That's fine. We have an imp that's going to hit in the back line for 361. We're going to be just fine. Port you. Port you. Armor up real quick. Uh, get the shelter back. Uh, purple shelter back. And broken memories again for... Mm, I don't want broken memories. I want I want reinforce. Next turn is the is the final turn of this combat. So how we do? Oh boy. I think we just Shelter, shelter, reinforce. And our back line's hitting for 831. Yep. Sweeper boss does not make it through a single round. <laughs> it's it's going to be one of those kind of runs, is it? Fine. <laughs> battering ram? Why? Why battering ram? So... Battering Ram will absolutely paste a frontline unit, but then again, so will the the conga line of death I've assembled on mid floor. Hmm. What do I cannot justify taking this battering ram? I just I can't. It's funny, but I can't. All right, swing and left. At this point, I think I'm gonna aim for the 150 threshold. So we need to prepare for that. Let's peep the steel shop. That's all garbage. Let's re-roll it and then peep it. Okay, multi-strike again. That's definitely going one of my amps for sure. We're taking this, so let's see it. Yep. That's a real hammer. Hmm. Well. I think anything else just gets in the way. We might as well just take the... Take that. Alright. Let's see. Multi-strike is going to go into... Bog Imp. For sure. 
I think I'm going to stick this plus 25 in my Keeper of Echoes. He's, he's here for, for buffs. And to be perfectly honest, there's a non-zero chance that I, that I murk my Demon Fiend here and make another copy. Uh, I don't think that's correct, though. Nonetheless, I'm, I'm not... I don't want multi-strike. I don't want quick. I don't want anything like that in him. Uh, I want him to survive so that he buffs. And he keeps getting put on the front line for some silly reason. <laughs> right. 120 shards. Failure, Arcus. <laughs> Let's... Let's pay the piper. Okay. You are disposable. I don't mind losing you. Wait, what happened here? Oh no, I have miscalculated. What is this nonsense? Okay, so... Dang, the bar... The, okay, this was a bad infusion. I now can't fit all my units on the floor. That is troubling. That is troubling. And we still haven't found our Ascend spells. So yeah, duping the Imp, bad call. But we've learned now. We've learned. There's an order of operations to this. The summon triggers go off before the units are played. Science. It ain't bad. What's up here? Rally? Encant. Cool. I don't think I care. Oh yeah, this is this is Encant and Hellborn Harvest. Fortify. And I think I just want Echoes and Well, I, I can't get the triggers. So we're we're basically all on Echoes here. That's rough. Put a little bit of work into you. This is rough. I have made an error. I would like to have horn break on and can't no. I would like to have horn break on lock, please. Encant? Mm. Very well. And then we're going to come up here. We're going to get Inspire Triggers and get those two spells back. And I reckon we're just going to dump a pair of Fractures into you. For lack of anything better to do. Okay. I want to keep Horn, horn Break on lock. So let's consume it. Torch, and now we go mad with armor. Three waves remaining. I still want to keep Hornbreak on lock. Alright. Hellborn Harvest? Don't care.
I think at this point we can lose the horn break. Put another 18 armor down across the board. Okay, in can up there. That's cool. I need to look at my consume pile. I have a shelter in my consume pile. Okay, good to know. Bring that back. And bring it back. Broken memories. You know the drill. And armor. <laughs> Alright. shelter back again and I don't need another broken memory so let's bring back horn break twenty more armor hmm. so yeah he Arcus does is this the first time I've seen fortified <laughs> I've been recording a lot of cards. Yeah, Arcus doesn't even kill our first unit. All right. We made a mistake, but we can correct it. Okay, Purple Echoes the Past. Now, that's a little bit different. But I still think we're I still think we're on the armor plan. I, I, I still think we want to keep our keep our echoes. So see there. I've been pretty good, I think, on Ember. So now I think it's time to take draw. Now that we're recurring a bunch of cards, we're drawing less. God, I'd love to go there. I really need to see this caverns, though. I really need to roll the dice on that. But, man, I got 500 gold, and there's trinkets over here. What are we looking for? Gerg's gold? Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely going to the, to the vent next. So that's fine. And we'll, we'll have a trinket shop on eight. So, uh, this, this... This kind of value is hard to give up. But we still have slots to fill. Alright. Champion says... Let's just go straight up Infector. Still, still hoping that I... Manage to find... An Ascend spell. I don't... Ooh. Are you serious? Are you serious, game? Yes. Yes. I, I would love a, a double shelter that consumes. I would absolutely love that. Uh, I wonder if I could double up on Reinforce. I'm guessing I can't Reinforce and Shelter, can I? I cannot. No, that'd be too good. Why, why would Monster Train give me that? <laughs> so if I want Reinforce, I'm going to have to double up with Fortify. That's gross. So yeah, we stick to the plan. We do double shelter. Yuck. <laughs> Horde says, Bog Slime, hello. <laughs> yes, we play a lot of consume spells. I, I would love to, to turn that into Echoes. Steel Shop. 
quit. Okay, first thing we do, we correct our mistake. We take the, the Bog Imp that's not multi-striking and we remove him. That brings us down to f three units, but what we're going to do is next ring we are going to double up on probably the Keeper of Echo. So we have two buffers, we have a hard hitter, and then we have this guy. Quick. Now, memory serves. Yeah, that's a steel shot, so we don't have to commit to anything here. That being said, we we generate a lot of armor. But I'm tired to watch my Keeper of Echoes die. A quick Apex Imp would go a long way to solving that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do quick Apex Imp. And we'll chill here. We'll wait and see what the final Steel Shop has to say. Alright, 135 shards. Ring 7. Three units on a sketch's floor, and oh, Jesus, that's purifiers. Armor 20, do not care. Ah, purifiers, somewhat care. Gotta admit, yuck. But that's why we recur a uh, horn break. I wish I could get away with that. I can't. Jeez. 50. Oof. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit rough, especially since we can't echo up top floor. We're probably going to lose some flies, but that's okay. I want to put as much into you as I can get. We should still have... Yeah, we have two echoes because we have two purple units. Okay. Oh, come on, game. Where am I horn break at? Okay, we get the collector. Happy to see that. I have no means of killing you. Okay, well. Bounding echoes. And I don't even have any of... I have none of my three shelters or my nexus spike. Or even my fortify. So yeah, Monster Train has basically just said, screw you in particular today, JC Locke. I would like to not take this damage, so... And I would like for you not to live another round, so there's that. And I think I'll just take an Inspire trigger. What? So I consumed a... What? A Bounding Echoes? Yeah. I have one, two, three... Four. I have non-purple cards coming up, so yeah, we, uh, we do that. So I'm going to recur that, and I am just going to, hey, we save our bog fly. Not that it matters, but I, I definitely want to put some into you. I want to make sure that you die next turn. No horn break, but we're getting all the armor this time. Bounding Echoes. I want to put the armor on. I want to put this on the end. Fly is disposable. I would like to claim my consumable shelter first. Then we're going to do Nexus Spike. For another 26 armor. So we got a 223 by 2 imp in the middle here, and that ain't bad. And we got so much armor, Bogfly now lives. That is funny. 
Oh yeah, mid floor is beating now. All right, talk to me, Goose. I'm gonna get rid of you for sure. Oh wow. Well, I thought we were beating. What happened? I'm gonna grab the shelter. Fracture you. Return the Nexus Spike. And then recur the broken memories. Torch. Shelter. Alright, we do it. Oh man, that was that was tight. Two waves remaining, I finally draw my horn break. So that's definitely worth the investment. And I am gonna take this damage, unfortunately. Because I want to Nexus Spike. Broken Memories, Nexus Spike, Broken Memories for Broken Memories. And we'll take that fire damage and we will clean up. Order of operations here. Oh. <laughs> that was dumb. And here I just said, order of operations. Alright. So what we're going to do... Is we're going to Nexus Spike. And I bring back the Nexus Spike. And the Broken Memories. And we're going to drop a shelter here for more armor and more rage imp, uh, uh, apex imping. Uh, they say imping ain't easy, but <laughs> when you can recur double shelter over and over, it sure is. Alright, now I don't need another broken memories next turn. I need another shelter. Take a fracture into you, and... See how fast we kill you. I don't even lose my imp. I don't even lose my fly. Um, instead of doing anything particularly interesting, I'm going to shelter, nexus spike, and reinforce. I love seeing seeing four-digit damage on my uh, apex imp. Oh, he's quick, too. <laughs> Forgot about that. Here's the problem. We're not keeping spells in the consumed pile. So skip there. Mm. And flame is really good with my apex imp, but I'm not going to a magic shop and it costs too much. So skip. I'm starting to wish I'd have taken double ember, but it is what it is. All right. Let's get as much information as we can. The one thing I think doesn't change is our dupe target. We still dupe Keeper of Echoes. That doesn't change. Temple says Spell Chain. Okay. We'll need the Spell Chain if we want to get to 150 shards, and I honestly do. Let's look at the Trinket Shop. That's a resonant shard. We're going into Seraph the Chaste, so that's not insignificant. I like it more than I like Faulty Loader at any rate. So yeah, we're going to take the resonant shard, and I think we're going to spin it. And we're going to snap pick that Pyrestone housing. Now we're going on a shopping spree. Large stone. Oh man, so many good options for large stone. Sentence that never thought I would say in my life. Plus 25 goes into Demon Fiend. That's easy. Uh, 
And I put the large stone into Demon Fiend too. I think that is correct. We do that. Spin it. And we get quick again. I think instead what we do is we make one... We make a super beefy Echoes. I don't think Apex Imp needs any more help with Echo Stone here. So might as well give it to the Keeper. If this was multi-strike, that'd be obvious for the for the imp, but as it stands, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits on the floor. I think we're fine. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to the keeper. And that's fine. And I will save the rest of the cash for Heaven's Gold in the event that I leak something. It gives me an aesthetically pleasing 77 pyre attack power. Spell chain says what? I do not want another spell chain broken memories. Um, I could do spell chain return soul. And that's something I could do. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, so we're at 150 shards now, which is the threshold for the super divine artifacts. That's where we want to be. And to be honest, the difference between 135 and 150 is negligible. So our last decision to make is what we're purging. And the answer to that question is... Fortify is not purple, but it's an additional 9 rage to my imp. So I keep it. I think fractures do more force than torches do, so we're going to remove two torches. Okay. 150 shards, 26 cards, 77 pyre attack power. Seraph the Chaste with an Apex Imp. Let's get it. Oh, wow, he's he's a big boy now. <laughs> All right. Well, it's sad that we never found anything to move our champion, so he's basically on cleanup duty for when Seraph inevitably drops light wings on us. All right, Fortify goes on the Imp. Torch. Torch. Fracture Shelter. And we'll do a cool 500 points of damage to him, turn one. Love that. Hmm. Not a great turn to see Bounding Echoes, gotta admit. Alright, we clean up everything nicely here. Oh, you. I wish I could do something about you, but I don't think I can. Yeah, I'm getting Ember Drained. Well, no, I'm not. I'm quick. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, Fire Wings. All right. I, in that case, would like to prevent 50 damage. And yes, we're quick killing the Dark Wings. That's nice. I'm going to save my Bounding Echoes because I can get value out of it later. So, order of operations here. I'm going to bring back that shelter. I'm going to torch you and get the two Inspire triggers. And I actually think I care more about... No, you're Seraph the Chaste. Never mind. Yeah, no, I, I care more about the uh, Inspire triggers than I do putting Reap on Seraph that he's just going to wipe. So I'm going to call that a turn. 
Okay. Huh, well... I have to admit... I'm not thoroughly in love with this hand. Oh, fracture you, you'll take something for it before you wipe it. What's my consumed card? Broken memories? Alright. That's fair. I am gonna... Shelter now so that I have it to recur. Then I am going to recur the spell chain broken memories. And then I'm gonna shelter again. And we absolutely melt this line. Upgraded. I need to hit 240, and I do exactly. Okay. And we're gonna get more armor this turn. We're just we're gonna keep armoring up. That is happening. Okay. Return soul. What would I like to put? I can see the pile. I would like a free purple consumed shelter. That sounds great. And I would like That actually sounds really good. Yeah, we'll take that. All right. So, let's talk. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to spend all of our ember like we want this turn. I'm going to start with the... What's my consume pile? Okay. I'm going to shelter up. Then I'm going to return it. I'm not going to be able to play out the broken memories because I want to Nexus Spike here. And then I want to reinforce my end. And that, that's a hell of a turn. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't care what's going on up there. Derp, derp, derp. Build of my echoes. 16 armor and 20 armor. I wish I could have gotten another multi-strike for the imp, but, you know, as, as much as I say overkilling is the best killing. <laughs> hmm. What's in my discard pile? I kind of want to do that again. But I need to recur my return soul, I think. So, let's grab... Horn Break and Fracture. Very good. And I would like to go ahead and horn break you so that I can get more damage onto Seraph. Seems good. Broken memories to bring back my broken memories. And I'm just going to throw fractures onto Seraph at this point. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
160 damage bog flies. That's funny. <laughs> All right, what to do? All right, I'm done messing around with this bounding echoes at this point. Uh, let's see. What is in my consume pile? You are. I want you. And then we're going to recur that broken memories again. Very nice. And we're going to do one, two, three for 28 more armor. I would like uh, free shelter. And then I am going to be with Relentless Seraph. So I think, all right, let's recur the Nexus Spike. One, two, three. Fifteen ninety-nine by two. <laughs> All right, um, I'm generally not one for running up the score, but uh, dang, I'm going to run it up. Let's do Purple Shelter and then Nexus Spike. <laughs> 803 armor on my Apex Imp. That, that, is, that is obscene. <laughs> And here's why we went to 150 shards. What do we get? Oh, we don't have enough armor. Let's put 100 armor on the fire. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> All right, we are just about done here. I, I like the sketches run. It showcases the big units... It showcases the units with the synergy, uh, especially between the bog flies and these guys. And it's just, this is just a good sketches floor, but man, am I tired of seeing Keeper of Echoes in the front. <laughs> okay. This is kind of a crap opening hand, I have to admit. I think I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to work on getting Inspire Triggers. And, and that's it. Obviously, we're not going to cast Reinforce yet. That's, that's a waste of a spell. Alright. Huh. Well. I... Who... We clear the floor without issue, but our order of operations is bad here. I'm going to recur the Nexus Spike, because it would be silly not to. Oh, we took a lot of damage on that. Oof. But we're armoring up. Okay, I got plenty of broken memories here. All right. Uh, Bounding Echoes. It's free. It's purple. So we're going to do... One. Two. Three, four. And we're going to recur it. But we're not going to play the Broken Memories because I want to draw through the rest of my deck. There's one specific card I really want to see this turn, and it is Hornbreak. Goodbye, spiky boy. Okay. More sauce for the imp stew. Uh, put a fracture on you. And drop cool 18 points of armor across the board. 
All right. Always happy to not see chains on this wave. Talk to me. Hmm. Not ideal. But we can get tricky. Let's fracture. Fracture. Oh, you're enchanting. So I don't want to do it if it's not purple. So we got a free consume fracture. Now let's make another. Yeah, it's it's purple. I want to play it even though he's enchanting. Grab the Nexus Spike. And take the broken memories back. And now we're gonna go into our armor recursion loop. to lose our, our frontline keeper of echoes, but that's fine. We are we are getting it. Alright, we're gonna take a lot of spike damage up here. We're definitely gonna lose you. But two, three, and then I have one more. So let's fracture you. The fact that you live doesn't sit right with me. Spike Memories, Spike, Memories. Okay. How did you not die? Did I get that much armor on you? Wow. Uh, I don't feel a pressing need to kill anyone on this floor, so um, I think we're going to maximize our armor output. I actually don't want to play the shelter, and I'll show you why momentarily. Um, I would like to eliminate you so I can get a second hint hit with my Apex Imp, so I can get one of them on Divinity. And then we're going to play out our recursion loop. Okay. We are almost at the end. Well, I did not draw my return soul. But I will. It's probably too little too late, but it's fine. So let's do our math. Two, three, four. Okay, we're good. Shelter. Nexus spike. We are going to recur the Nexus spike. And then next turn's going to be our last turn, so the last thing we're going to recur is going to be a shelter. And uh, we're going to set sketches to liquefy. We have managed to keep him alive this entire time. That is, that is crazy. Um, I don't really care about score that much, but... Let's see what I can bring back with Return Soul. There we go. So, we're going to do Free Shelter and Nexus Spike. I think that's going to be it for me. Okay, well, that was a, a very informative Sketches run. You you definitely can see where it uh, it's difficult to pilot, but stupid powerful. If you know uh, you've got it in the very early portion of the game... We get to play some units we otherwise wouldn't get to play. 
And uh, I had a good time. I hope you did too. I will see you next time.